Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to an update video um, for my birthday, or whatever, I guess a little birthday aftermath. Um, the game I am playing is, and yet it moves. Um, I actually, this might turn into a full Let's Play, I'm not entirely sure yet, um, along with some other games actually that I've been playing recently. But um, I just want to show this off, I guess, while talking about stuff and uh biggest thing you'll notice, I guess, would be, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to notice it, but I got a new microphone, and, um, yeah, I'm using it, it's the same model, I'm pretty sure, as my old one, if not a slightly higher one, so that's always good, um, we're Paperboy, which is always good, you can walk, jump, run, you know, your usual stuff. But we could also rotate the world like this. Because we're pimps. And uh, the thing I, I recognize pimps is doing is rotating the world. Or at least making some ladies' worlds go around, if you know what I'm saying. But um, along with new headset, I got a, a new TV. Um, my room is very, very, very small, though, so... It's nowhere near like your big 60-inch plasma screen blah, blah, blah. It's also only like a 19-inch um, Philips um, LCD, which fine by me, really. Like my old TV was big ass CRT mumbo jumbo, big glass box basically, and you know anything is better than that. You know it's good for me. Um, I don't. We haven't. I haven't gotten a. Uh, HDMI cable though. Well, Once you complete a level, you can play it in the speedrun mode. Select it in the play play mode in the main menu. Blah, 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 blah. Haven't gotten a uh, HDMI cable yet, so I'm st still just running it off of um, S video. So the quality is a bit, you know, kind of grainy, blurryish. But uh, hopefully, I get an HDMI cable soon, and it'll all be dandy. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Saved herself there. The power of gravity. Um, this game was actually uh, oh god. This game was actually uh, released for the Wii, I believe, for the Virtual Console or whatever. And um, I believe that actually uh, instead of like just like spitting the camera in 90 degree increments, what you do is you can actually like completely like do it like at any angle you want, basically. Which, in my opinion, that actually is kind of like not that great really because the 90 degrees is like kind of where it's at really like that's where oh, who really making sense here like if it's not it's e it's it's more fine-tuned I guess like this my survival mainly depends on how fast I am when I hit the ground yeah so um if I do this and then do that I will die while that is very, very easy to avoid, like right now, at this point of the game, later on, uh, things aren't so easy, really. Um, later on, the game gets freaking twisted, it, and, I, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not entirely sure who made this game, sadly. Um, I probably like. Oh! See, what I did there is, I, uh,. I was in like a narrow crevice or whatever, and when, so when I when I like spun out of it, I basically crushed myself on those rocks. I'll um look up who made the game after this, or whatever. Maybe um mention them in the description or something like that. I really really like this game. It's really fun. It's really, it's really short. Um, the only other game actually that I was talking about um because uh, I mentioned this in, I think in a Q and A video, but um. J zero one two three four five six seven eight nine one two is the one who got me this. Um, he got it. He got me the uh, humble indie bundle three, which included um, this VVV VVV um, hammer fight. If I keep my momentum, I keep my momentum. If I rotate, the speed of my movement will stay the same after the world turns. Uh, um, yeah, VVV VVV yeah. six V's. This. Hammer Fight, um, Crayon Physics Deluxe, which is pretty interesting, and, um, Cogs. See the little jump puzzle right there? Or, very, very early on, primitive 
jump puzzle, but we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of really crazy shite as we go on. And yeah, and cogs, I think that's it, I think that's it. Um, they've been adding stuff like, kind of like post-release, like they've added, um, like, Atomic Zombie Smasher or whatever. Um, and, uh, Steel Soldier or some of that. Actually, I think I'm gonna check it right now, okay, if I, if I just do this. Alright, I can't check it right now, because, um, I've disabled my in-game Steam community, because I've been playing Morrowind recently. And um, in order to get um, the uh, Morrowind graphics extender to work, I need to like take off in-game Steam community, and uh, I forget to take turn it back on a lot. I want to give a big thanks to Jay though, because that was really nice of him. It was like his birthday present for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, VVV VVV is the only other game that I would really think of like let's playing. Um, Hammer Fight, um, couldn't really get into it really, and. Um, Cogs and Creon Physics Deluxe are, um, as they get, as they go on, they just get so freaking insane, like, in their puzzles. I, I don't think I would do a good job at let's playing them, like, at all. They're good games, nonetheless. And also, there's something going on with, like, the, the uh, indie bundle thing, where, um, it's like, I don't know if this was, like, a glitch or something, but, like, if you if I went into the link or whatever, I could download all the games apparently from Humble Indie Bundle 2, which is very weird. Like, so I downloaded like Machinarium and Braid, and both both of them would work just fine, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure if that's legal or anything. Hopefully I haven't like oh god, oh nice lift. Hopefully I haven't like broken some law by doing that. But uh, oh well. I haven't played uh any games from Humble Indie Bundle 2 yet, except Braid, because I already played that before. Um, I think Braid's a very nice game, I really like it. Oh! Oh! Smushed. Yeah, like, in my big kind of hiatus from, without microphone, um, a lot of my time has been going on Morrowind, um, recently. I got, I've recently gotten heavily, heavily into the Let's Player, um, GicksG17, who um is a famous, or I shouldn't say famous, but he he does let's plays of um the, he's currently doing like let's plays of like the Elder Scrolls series. Um, he's done a uh, or he's doing Morrowind and Oblivion and Daggerfall or whatever, and um or not whatever he, he is doing Daggerfall. Um, and uh, I've recently gotten back into him. That's maybe when I get into. Uh, the Elder Scrolls series, so p been playing a lot of Morrowind, being very hyped up for Skyrim. Can't wait for that. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be very good. Or hopefully it is. Not, don't, oh god, I'm gonna die. And these little black holes will act as black holes. Should probably follow um, on my little silhouette guy. Probably follow his lead. He seems to know what he's doing. Oh, when I don't. Tomorrow, um, I'll probably, the first game I'll probably go back to recording again is Batman. Oh, did not see that coming. Um, because I think it's been a while since I've done Batman the longest, I think. Um, I've had our Code Veronica, but, uh, I don't know, me and Code Veronica have this, like, weird thing where, like, it's hard for me to, like, to get back into Code Veronica after I haven't played it for a while. It's really weird. I think it's really just like a fear of me kind of like not knowing what to do. So I'm like, oh, if I do that, if I record that, I'm just like not going to know what to do. What's the point of recording it if I just don't record it? It's kind of sad. Oh, what? How did that? Oh. And once I do Batman also, the faster I get Batman done, faster I can do Shadow Dimensions and make everyone stop asking him all that, which will be nice. Here's a little oh, here's a little, little puzzle at the end of every little area, sort of. Um, you get these little puzzles or whatever. Right here, I actually don't care if I die or not, because I respawn right here. Um, call it cheating, if you will, but that's how it works. Oh, come on. 
And basically, we just gotta get all these balls onto the net or whatever. I'm assuming it's like a spider web. Come here, boys. And break. Oh, what? Shame. Shame. I also really want to get back into my um, Let's Read series or whatever, but I don't know, like, I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this in, in yesterday's uh, Q&A video uh, or not, but uh, I hear, the, hear these bats, they move to the top of the screen. So that's always good. Um, good for luring them around. Got that big thing tinging down, whatever it was. Um, he was like... Neuromancer? I don't know. It wasn't gripping me at first, really. It wasn't really gripping me. No. It wasn't gripping me. <laughs> um. So I, I will. I will eventually do do Neuromancer, but I think I might actually do something different. <laughs> Ow. Different first. I'm thinking actually maybe some sort of like old style kind of. I really. I, um. What's coming to me the most is actually the uh, Divine Comedy. I've not, I've not read that before. Um, I've read like a couple lines of it, um, or whatever, and uh, it seems very interesting. I, I really kind of like the, I, li I really like it so far, or like from what I've read. Obviously, only a couple lines. You never know. I could actually like read like a couple more lines and be like, oh, that's that's absolute bull. That's absolute trash, and I will never, ever ever be the same again. Come on, bats. Oh, nice. Okay, he be dead. Or whatever. Sleeping. He's off the screen. That's, that's what makes it happen for me. <clears throat> All right, kind of forgot. He's the same dude. Gotta get the bats again. Hey, bats, come on. Ugh. Get him through. Get him through. I'll just do this. Flock them all. Because bats of a feather flock together. Ow. Okay, I think he's dead. Or should be taken. Oh, that's not bats, really. Is it? Nice. I've also just really just, just been playing uh, these like indie games I've been that I've been given or whatever. Um, I get it. I get the water, drip out of there, fall down here, fall down here, fall down. Here. Uh, uh, oh man! Fall down. Drip out of there. Come down. Oh man! <laughs> Over there, come over there, come over there. Oh, what? Go to there, come down there, come down there. There we go. So we got the world starting to fall apart, it's always good. Crackly, 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 crackly! Oh god. That was a, uh, that was unintended. Right, come on. What is that? Seriously, that big of a fall? That's that's nothing. That is nothing. I could do that in my sleep. Not really, because 
That'll probably wake me up, but you get what I'm trying to say, hopefully. It really is not big, that big of a fall. For this game's standards, at least. Like, in real life, you know, falling about like three times your height, that's a bit frightening, but you get me. You get me. I think I'm going to stop it there, guys, because I've kind of updated you on everything, and, uh, gotten to this new world, so I think that's a good point to stop. The game auto-saves, luckily. Or, actually, I don't, I don't need to auto-save, because, uh, I, need to, I do want to know what level this is called, though. I'm guessing it's between the leaves, maybe? That's a great escape that has bats on it. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is the between the leaves. Alrighty then. Folks. It's been good. I'm back, baby. Um, I love you guys. And I guess I'm gonna go spend the rest, rest of my birthday doing something. So, uh, wish me luck. Thumbs up. I'm gonna sauce a thousand. As always. Liquid out!